In this problem, we're told you are pulling your little sister on her sled across an icy, frictionless surface. When you exert a constant horizontal force of 120 newtons, the sled has an acceleration of 2.5 meters per second squared. If the sled has a mass of 7.4 kilograms, what is the mass of your little sister? So the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. So you are basically pulling the sled, right? And there's going to be a force of 120 newtons that you're going to be pulling it with, right? And then we know it's going to be accelerating at 2.5 meters per second squared. And then imagine these two boxes represent the, the big box right here is going to represent the sled. And then this with labeled M is going to be the mass of the sister, right? So essentially this just represents your uh, the little sister on the sled, right? And so how are we going to solve for this? So the way we solve for this is using Newton's second law, which basically tells us force is equal to mass times acceleration. More specifically, you say the sum of the forces in a direction. So in this case, we say the sum of the forces in the x direction, since we're going to assume that this is the x direction, uh, is equal to the mass of the system times acceleration, right? And we know the acceleration and we know the force. So the forces in the x direction, there's only going to be one, which is this 120 Newton force. So we would say the 120 Newton force is equal to the mass of the system. And so what's the mass of the system? So we have the mass of the sister plus the mass of the thing, right? So if we want to say the mass of the whole system, it's going to be them added up, right? So it's going to be the variable M, which represents the mass of the sister, plus the 7.4 kilograms, which is from the sled, right? Multiplied by the acceleration of the sled, which is 2.5, right? So if we want to solve for M, all we got to do is just do some basic math, divide by 2.5. 120, if you divide by 2.5, you're going to get 48. So you get 48 is equal to the mass of the sister plus the mass of the sled, which is 7.4. If we minus 7.4, that's going to give us the mass of the sister, right? So 48 minus 7.4 is 48.6. So you get the mass is equal to 48, uh, sorry, 40.6, not 48.6. So 48 minus 7.4 is 40.6. So the mass of the sister is 40.6, and then we measure mass in kilograms. So 40.6 uh, 40 kilograms, that's going to be the mass of the little sister. And yeah, so this is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.